everyone welcome to my channel so today i have my sister here with me and y'all this is so exciting because today we have our beautylish xl lucky bag sister versus sister for 2024 to share with you all now if you're unfamiliar with the beautylish lucky bag this comes out once a year and lucky bags are believed to be originated in japan and basically it's like a mystery box and so beautylish does a beauty lucky bag once a year they are for sale the day after christmas so the 26th of december and yeah you get them in january of the next year so this is the 2024 lucky bag now they had regular lucky bags which were 75 dollars, and i can't remember how much product you're supposed to get and then we got the xl which is 150 dollars for the box i think you're supposed to get over 300 dollars inside i think that's what it is maybe it's a 75 dollar one is 150 dollars, and then the 300 dollar no the one hundred and fifty dollars, three hundred. I made that so confusing. All right, let me. Let's see. Okay, we have a hundred and fifty dollar one that's supposed to have three hundred dollars worth of product inside. I think they have some like, I think they have like a Wayne Goss or like a specific one or maybe like a Jeffrey Star one where all you would get is the products from that one. But we just did the regular lucky bag xl now you can only get one lucky bag so rachel ordered one and i ordered one and we're so excited to get inside with that welcome back to all the subbox lovers out there welcome if you're new my name is katrina my name is rachel and on my channel we unbox lots of different subscription boxes obviously today's not a subscription box but if you like these type of videos definitely make sure to give this video a thumbs up make sure you're subscribed and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out on future uploads and let's dive in. We are so happy that you're here hanging out with us today, unboxing these boxes. Now, first thing is to note, Rachel's came in like the standard Beautylish box that like I've always gotten the XL in. Mine came like in just like a random <laughs> huge cardboard box. So I'm assuming that that's because there's a big item in here. So I'm curious if it's like an exciting big item or if it's just like a boring makeup yeah. bag that's taking up a lot of space but we'll figure it out here in a minute and i will say my box does say who it's packed by which is really fun i don't know if i didn't see that on yours katrina but it might be hiding somewhere I, there's like little scribbles on the packaging but i don't think it says who it was packaged by i will also say that every year the tissue paper is different and it's so cute this oh year gosh. i'm probably gonna save it because i just think it's so cute yeah all right, now inside everything comes in a bundle. Now there is a bigger item that I kind of saw that I'm not going to mention yet because we're going to do that one last in the bottom of my box. So we'll get to that one last in my box. All right, so I just put my pouch back in my box and I'm not like I looked, I took a few sneak peeks, but I'm not going to look that heavily because I want it to be a surprise. So yeah. I'm just going to randomly pull something out. So first we have a brush, but this is by... Ooh, these are nice. This is a nice brush. I, I forgot what is, I forgot what the name is called. Kimono Fude? But I got one last year when we did Beautylish and I think it was a fan brush and they're so nice. So this is what it looks like. It has kind of like a dark wooden handle and then oh, it's just so soft, like a dome Ooh. top. It's yeah. a little bit flattened, but like still puffy. Um, it is the 923159 brush. Worker M. Also known as the fundam Fundamental Worker M brush. So I assume for like eyes, but you could probably use- Packing maybe? You could even use it for like maybe contouring your nose or something. Um, but I'll probably use it on eyes for, yeah, packing or even like blending a little bit. That's a nice brush. I'm gonna be honest, I'm already a little jealous. At the end of these videos, by the way, we do sometimes trade products, um, mm -hmm. but that's usually off camera. But we yeah. do sometimes, so like we'll see what we get and figure that out. Yeah. <laughs> okay, it also looks like I got a Kimono Fude brush. Now mine is different. Mine is the 32246 brush. Um, oh, these are Sonia G brushes. Oh. It says Sonia G on it. This is the crease medium brush. These are made in Japan. So this is what this one looks like. It's really pretty. I do feel like I don't know what I would use this one for. Maybe like to smudge under my eyes. I'd probably get more use out of the one that she got, but it's really nice. And I love how it like is like skinny and big yeah. and it feels so nice in the hand. So yeah, these are really nice Sonia G brushes very cool <laughs> all right so next up we have a box oh it's, it's a little oh it's the um ho holy frog I, or holly frog they i feel like we've gotten okay. a lot of at least one product from them a year <laughs> yeah now this isn't a sunscreen which i Ooh. haven't gotten in the past um it's their daily mineral sunscreen broad spectrum spf 30 high protection uva uvb so this is what the box looked like they do have really cute packaging i love yeah. the, the yellow like kind of goes perfectly with sunscreen for sun 
So this is what the tube looks like. It's so cute. I'm assuming yeah. it has a pump, but I don't know. You just opened it the wrong way, Rachel. There is a pump. You just unscrewed. <laughs> Why is this like the eighth time this has happened? Okay, it does have a pump. <laughs> it did look like it was tinted. Yeah, I was about to say we're going to actually open it back up. It is tinted, so there's a little tint to it. Does it smell like sunscreen? I can't tell because we had some lotion on our face, on our... It doesn't really smell a lot, but it does look like it blended into your skin well. Yeah, it blend, it's felt super duper smooth, but not like oily or greasy. Like it like goes out to being just normal. It feels like normal skin. So I'm excited about this. Sunscreens, especially face sunscreens are tricky. Your face, yeah. I, face either loves it or hate it, hates it. So I'm just going to have to try it out and see, but it is a nice little face sunscreen. All right, up next, I got this from Kitsch. These are, they're made from organic cotton and these are scrunchies. I'm gonna be honest, these kind of look like sad, dead teddy bears. Like they're not, I, d I don't, I personally do not think they're cute. If you mm -hmm. think they're cute, that's fine. Um, I don't, I just think it would, it, I don't think it's cute, so. I feel like they could get dirty. Like if you have products on your hair or something, they could wear down over time. Especially the lighter colored ones. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so not really my vibe. I'm not a scrunchy girly anyway. My hair is like too thin for scrunchies. So mm -hmm. yeah, I'll put these in. A, I'll donate these or something because <laughs> they're not very cute. <laughs> All right, up next, I have a product from Charlotte Tilbury. This is their Eye Enhancing Beauty Secret Kit. Um, let's see. Pillow, t it's in. Um, oh, are these lipstick? Color Chameleon, an award-winning pillow talk in new matte shade. Oh, they're eyeshadow pencils. Okay. I, Charlotte Tilbury's very nice, and pillow talk, I love, I, I have her pillow talk blush, or whatever the equivalent is. Pillow talk is like, it's a beautiful, like, pinky nude. I think you'll actually okay. like that one for the eyeshadow stick. The other one, I think, would be dark for you, because she, she's not a big eyeshadow person. No. They are really cute packaging-wise. That's what they look like, and the little sticks. I will say... I've gotten really into like eyeshadow sticks or creams versus powder because it's just so easy. If it's a crayon, you just wipe it on. If it's like a little liquid, you just wipe it on and you're done and you look like you tried and you don't have to like blend out stuff. So I do really like them. This is what the first color looks like. I don't know if, I, should I swatch them? If you think you're gonna use it, sure. I think feel like the pillow talk you might. The other one I think is too, you would feel too. <gasps> Ooh, it's, I just, it's rose gold. But I can't tell you how soft that just like was. Buttery. It was like straight up butter to, to put on. And it, the pigment is definitely there. Now if you like, like rub it out a little, it kind of like goes away. But obviously I'm not taking the time to really try for that. This is what the other shade looks like. It, it definitely is darker. This one might be nice to use as a, like kind of an eye Eyeliner. smudge. But it is thick. So you'd have to be like really precise with it. Um... I don't know. I am going to try it out because I've been really liking eyeshadow crayons, but... Let's watch it then. Let's see. How dark is it? Yeah. Ooh, it's like a wine color. It's like a wine and it's... This one's not shimmery. Oh yeah, it's matte. This one's matte. Um, to be honest, those two colors could, would work really pretty together. Oh, yeah. A little Valentine's look because it's kind of like oh, pink and red. Oh, true. I'm, I'm seeing where you're going with that. So overall, I think these are really fun. All right. Up next, I got a palette. This is from Danessa Myricks, and this is their Groundwork Defining Neutrals. Ooh, I'm actually pretty stoked about this. I don't actually know what the palette looks like, but I've gotten Danessa Myricks palettes before, and they've been very colorful, which is fine, but I'm more of a neutral girl on a day-to-day -day basis, especially for work. Ooh, okay. Oh. This is like a heavy palette. Like it's oh heavy. Oh my gosh, yeah. And like there's a metal plate on the front <laughs> of it. Okay. Oh, neutrals. Well, that's why it says groundwork defining okay. neutrals. <laughs> <laughs> you got so excited. It legit has like foam in it too. Oh, this wow. is nice. Um, so it does come with a full mirror. And then this is what they look like. There's like two pans per, and I don't, I'm sure there's a reason for that. Um, I guess you could mix them together, um, but it does look like there's a lot of fun shades. Um, that one does look like somebody, like it, there's it's something, yeah. like, maybe not swatch, but this shade does look like it's been tampered with. Maybe not. Um, but yeah, just a nice little neutrals palette. You can move them around if you want to. Um, so yeah, nice. I mean, it's very, very neutral. So I don't know if it's too neutral for me. There's not a lot of shimmer, and I do like a shimmer moment. I think the only shimmer shade might be Mirage right here, and then also in Tourmaline, there's like a darker shimmery black there. But yeah, a nice neutral palette, and again, Nessa Myricks is really nice shadow, a nice heavy palette. Up next, I'm pulling something out from RMS Beauty. This is, I think it says lip gloss, um, lip lights, and it is in the shade 
Rhapsody, which looks a little out of my comfort zone, but we'll see. So it's like a tube. So I'm guessing it's kind of like a gloss or maybe like a liquid lipstick type vibes. I feel like it's gonna be a gloss, but it does look like it'll be pigmented. One thing I forgot to mention at the beginning is for the XL, you do not choose your shade, but in the regular Lucky Bag, you get to choose if you're a light to medium skin tone as one category or medium to dark as the other. So just FYI, you might get more complexion in that box versus this one. So I did open this one up and it is dark for mm -hmm. me, for me and what I like to wear. It's, it's out of my comfort zone. To I'm me, not gonna touch it. It is a nice, I feel like that nice chocolatey brown could look pretty on you, but you're, yeah, you're not used to wearing dark stuff. Yeah, I mean, I'm not against trying it out. I'm not gonna touch it or try it out today, but I do like the little tube. It's cute packaging and yeah, yeah, it looks nice. All right, up next, I got something from Mob or MOB Beauty, and this is their lipstick M62. Oh, it's a lipstick refill. Oh. Do I have a compact in here? Okay, yes, I do have a compact in here because it's like, um, if they're about to give me a <laughs> lipstick with like a refill with nothing in it. So, yes, this is a repurposed it full like capsule where you can put in your lipstick. They should just shove it in there. I don't really know. All right, we're gonna figure this out together. <laughs> All right, so this is what the lipstick looks like in there. And I guess you just like push it down in the bottom. Oh, oh it snaps right in. Oh, that's and then easy. you take the top off. And you've got this nice, pretty red lipstick. I will swatch it. <gasps> oh. It's bright. That's not my kind of red. It smells nice, but I'm not wearing, I, I wish I never swatched it because, well, maybe I would wear it, but it's a little too bright for me. I feel mm. like it even looks darker in camera, but like in person, it looks fluorescent. Yeah, it looks Which neon. is not what it looks like in the tube. So, I mean, to be honest, red would look pretty with these pearls right now and everything, but I mean, I'm still happy to get this nice little lipstick moment. It's just, um, I might need to get a different refill to just refill it with. Yeah, I was. you might be able to layer that with something to deepen it up a little, but yeah, she's right. It's very fluorescent in person. <laughs> All right, up next, I'm pulling out a hair product. This is from Verb. It's their ghost oil. So it's just nice oil for your hair. It shines, smooths frizz, and weightless hair oil. Um, I actually own this. I own the tube, and I haven't gotten to use it yet. I don't know if I got it from Beautylish or somewhere else. But I feel like um, we might have gotten it in a Beautylish lucky bag before, but I don't know if it was you or me, so. Yeah, I don't remember. I haven't gotten around to using it yet because for me, hair oils take a really, really long time to use up. So I'm excited about it. It is nice. It has a pump. Um, I do love using hair oil. I put it on in the mornings and then just kind of brush out my hair. I don't know if that's what you're supposed to do, but I do it. So it's a nice product. It's going to be a long, long time till I can get to this. So yeah. Up next, we have something from Hindash, which is a brand I've never heard of before. And this is their Haroline, which I don't know what this is. Maybe an eyeliner. Does it say on here? Nope. It's, they're based in Dubai, it looks like. But let's see. I'm getting eyeliner and or like lip product vibes yeah. from this. Oh. Oh, it's very nice and like a metal, and it's legit metal package. <gasps> Ooh, it is an eyeliner. It is oh. a felt tip, though. I'm not a felt tip. I think it's a brush tip. Oh wow! It is a ooh, but it's nice. That's that packaging is legit. I prefer felt tip to brush tip. But that being said, this had a really clean, smooth line, and I'm impressed with the way that it performed. Sometimes when I use eyeliners on my hand, it does spread out into the creases. Now the skin on my hand is different from the skin on my eyes. It's not doing that though. So this is definitely gonna stay, if it stays and put on my hand, it for sure will stay and put on my eyes. So yeah, a very nice bougie eyeliner. <laughs> All right, next up I pulled out a big item. This is from Good, Mu Mo Good Molecules. It's their hydrating facial cleansing gel. Wow, that wasn't obvious at all that you were reading from the monitor. <laughs> no, you guys couldn't tell, right? <laughs> Um, um, good Molecules is a Beautylish, their skincare brand. So I feel like we always get like one Good Molecules product per box, it feels like. Ooh, Ooh the packaging on that is everything. It's really cute. This is a nice summer cleanser, it, Ooh. I feel like. Um, a gentle cleanser to leave skin feeling balanced and hydrating. This seems like kind of just like a gel, simple cleanser. I like simple cleansers that don't have too much going on. Yeah. I, I think I prefer them over cream. It is sealed, so I don't I don't smell anything. Yeah. But I want this to smell like mandarin oranges. <laughs> I feel like it's not gonna smell like anything, but <laughs> probably not. But it's a nice big fun cleanser. You can't go wrong with a gentle cleanser. cleanser. Alright, up next is Charlotte Tilbury. I feel bad right now because I feel like pers 
I feel like my box is a lot better than yours. No, that's I'm okay. I'm like questioning, did they send you the wrong lucky bag? <laughs> um, I got Charlotte Tilbury. This is their Magic Cream Light Lightweight Moisturizer with Sunscreen Broad Spectrum SPF 20. Ooh. That's nice. This is... Whoa. I want to see the packaging. <laughs> oh. Well, well, they could have done better. That's kind of boring. <laughs> but like, oh my god. Like this, this to me, because SPF is like a morning moisturizer, I just am like curious about the vibes. Ooh, okay. It has a little bubble. <laughs> it looks like a snail on my hand because of the bubble. Um, um, does it, I don't think it smells like, let me smell. It smells kind of like roses, not so much like yeah. SPF. It's kind of like a light baby powder rose scent, but like really, really light. Yeah, I'm definitely getting, well, now I'm getting more rose. Okay. I don't love rose, but I feel like I definitely want to try this as like a morning moisturizer. Like, oh my god. Because yeah. it's kind of nice. You don't have to use moisturizer and SPF. It's just all in one. Yeah, and it does make my skin feel nice. Now, I do have oily skin. My skin is very picky about moisturizers, so this might be good for me now in the winter to try, but like, I can't believe <laughs> that I got like a Charlotte, to like, girl. Girl. <laughs> all right, so next up, I have a palette. This is by... Danessa Myrick's Beauty. It's the Lightwork Volume 4 Eye and Palette Illuminating Eye and Face Pigments. I'm a little scared. I'm getting very colorful vibes from this. And as y'all know, I'm a neutral girl. <laughs> well, we both got a Danessa Myrick's palette. And yeah. we did each get I we did each get Charlotte Tilbury products. So And we and both the got a Sonia G brush. I feel like they like you get different items, but they try to like kind of keep you... them in categories. Yeah. yeah. Alright, so this is what the palette looks like. It has a a plaque on it as well. Oh, oh wow. wow. It's pretty. That is so out of your comfort zone, but it's very pretty. So this is what it looks like. There's a lot of shimmers, but like There's a lot of colors. The shimmers look fun. I mean, to be they fair. They look gorgeous. Even I want to put my, like that one just like, mm, I want to put my finger in Invincible. Okay. <laughs> But there's, honestly, looking at this palette, there are actually quite a few colors I would try. Like, all these are pretty. This is a baby, oh no, that's a baby blue, and I love baby blue. I don't think I like baby blue on my eyes, but, like, I'd still want to try it. Oh, you accidentally swatched one. Yeah. Oh, that is pigmented. That is. I feel like these will be really nice. So, yeah, there are actually a, a decent amount of colors in here that I'm excited to try. So, I don't know. Yes, it's out of my comfort zone, but... Try it, girly. Like, yeah, I think you will have fun with it. <laughs> I can do Unbreakable for Valentine's Day. Ooh, that'll be pretty. <laughs> Up next, I have Natasha Denona. Like, oh my god. Um, this is the Pastel Plexi Glow Highlighter. I am curious if this is about to be mint green. <laughs> oh. <laughs> because the packaging is mint green. Ooh. Or if it's actually going to be a pretty, pretty color, but like the... P That's so pretty. The packaging is everything. <gasps> oh my god. Wow. I. This is so pretty. That's, I think, the first thing you pulled out where I'm like, oh, like, I want that. <laughs> wow, well, maybe I'll give it to you. No, no, no. That, okay. is, that is. I so like, want to swatch, but I don't want to ruin it. But, like. Ooh. And I barely touched that. Let me put it, like, over. It's like right here. You can't see it too much, but I did very lightly swatch it, but like, yeah. oh my goodness. It also looks like it's like a little bit ombre from like light to almost green. Oh. It is a light green, but like the... That is cute. The packaging is ever... I'm... See, I just want to carry that, that around as an accessory. Like, you look wanna, at me. You want to pull that out in the yeah. Gigi Pax go? Exactly. <laughs> okay. Oh my God. I... Okay, wow. Okay, I have a... My lucky bag is like... Yeah. I, yeah, okay. <laughs> well, I might still have a Natasha Denona. You might. Do you? I have the same one. <laughs> Do we actually? <gasps> Yay! Speaking of which, I I'm got so it I'm so happy. Well. I'm so glad you got that because you really... Wait, you know what this means? We can both go with TJ Maxx and open it up together. <laughs> now, is mine the same shade? Probably. They're going to think we're shoplifting if we pull that out in TJ Maxx. Oh we're going to have to gosh. do it in like Home Depot. <laughs> yeah, mine's the exact same shade. There's just something about oh this that just screams bougie and cute and like Oh my cool. god. I'm obsessed. Yeah, me too. <laughs> the next product that I received is from R and Co. And this is their Crystal Halo. It is a balancing scalp sh scrub shampoo. Oh, it's like a scrubby shampoo. I don't know if I love scrubby shampoos, if I'm honest. Um so TBD NFL. I think it smells really nice, but it's sealed, so it's hard to tell. I'm kind of getting fruity a little tiny Oh, I was bit. getting perfumey. Um, if I don't use this, I'll probably give it to my mom, because I feel like she really likes scrubby mm -hmm. shampoo type stuff. But, like, yeah. So, I feel like you usually get, like, hair care. So, instead of the verb ghost oil, I got this. Yeah. So, yeah. A nice little hair scrub. 
All right, so now I have my little hair accessory. This is from Slip. This is a pure silk skinny scrunchie. Um, yeah, I actually do love scrunchies. I sleep with them in my hair every night because I don't like to leave my hair down. So I just feel like the scrunchie is the perfect thing to put it in like a ponytail. And I love chocolate brown and it says silk. So maybe I'll like wake up with silky hair in that one spot. I do really like that one for you though. It is, I feel like it looks big and you don't have like very thick hair. No. So you might have to like do it over a billion times. Yeah, I probably will have to do it around multiple times. Oh, but it is nice. It's just a cute little one. This is nice if you don't really want people to see it. Cause like all the scrunchies I have now are super like thick. So it's kind of nice to have a thin one. I and wish you have it, brown hair too, so it kind of will blend. True. I do show, wish it came in a pack of like four or more. <laughs> that's but. fair, that's fair. But I guess because it's silk. Yeah. You know. I'll take what I could get. <laughs> the next product that I received is from Good Molecules. So she got the cleanser and I got their hyaluronic acid serum. Ooh. I don't, I'm not really in the need of new serums right now, but still fun thing to get. And it just comes in a cute little dropper bottle with the fun little colors there. Hyaluronic acid I feel like is good for moisture retention. So it's delivers deep hydration to plump the appearance of fine lines. So very cool. All right. So last but not least, I got something from Viseart. This is a pigment palette. Um, it's their professional makeup Paris Florette Amour shade of their um, pigment palette. So let's open her up. Actually, their packaging is really nice. I got a bronzer for them, I think last year in, yeah. in the Lucky Bag, and I'm still using it today. It's lasted me like a year and I love it. Um, oh. Oh. That the colors make don't sense. match. <laughs> yeah. I wonder if they put the wrong palette in the wrong box when like- Or like some, yeah, it looks like it got put in the wrong thing, cause that- That's not the same shade. To be honest, you could probably reach out to customer service and be like, mm, this is not the, that's absolutely not the same. No. That's like, not the like, same. That's, which is fine. I mean, it's fine in the fact that it's fine, but I'm not gonna she use She would have these preferred colors. the other palette <laughs> colors, yeah. I don't, like I said, the other palette is enough color for me. Yeah. So I think they meant to give like a neutral palette with a colorful palette, but that's okay. Um, I think this is really, really pretty, really, really fun. And I will say Viseart's products are really good quality, so. Yeah, all right, up next. This is the big thing and why they had to give me a big box and I'm so excited. I have the Orbe Hair Alchemy Collection. I'll just take that real quick. <laughs> the box it is everything. I, so it has a shampoo and a conditioner? It has shampoo, conditioner, and a hair serum inside. Oh, we need to open this up. I know, and I don't want this box, I'm gonna save the rest of my life, it's so cute. She like, just won the lottery. Oh my gosh. That oh is, my god. Yeah, you have to save that. All right, babe. <gasps> Look at the detail on, on. Yeah, I mean, Orbe is bouge as is, but like, holy shh, like, shnikes, <laughs> like, a full, like, that's why I feel like, my, no, don't. I feel bad, because like, I don't want to say yours, not, yours, you know, yeah, oh, and their product smells so good, <gasps> that's fruity, it's fresh and fruity, it kind of gives pineapple vibes, and they've got just, oh my gosh, and then there's like a little hair serum, and this is the shampoo, and then there's also the More conditioner. Oh my god. I'm... Okay. I'm not even gonna lie, Katrina just won the lottery. <laughs> like, like, screw the million dollar lottery, this is the lottery. I mean, this must... Uh, we, let's Google how much this retails for, because this is oh, yeah. not cheap. I know this is not cheap. No. Okay, so the shampoo is $52, the conditioner is $55, and... um. I don't know if they sell it. They don't sell the, like, I can't find, this box for, is not actually for sale. Um, the serum, I think the full size serum is 66, but something is telling me this is a smaller version yeah. than that, because that's a 5.9 ounce, and this is a 2.5 fluid ounce. So it's like a sample size of the that. But, so this is like over $100 worth of product in this one product, and like, that is such a pretty box. And the just box even itself. like this, be like with the like this is packed. Oh my god, <laughs> I won the lottery. She did, which kind of like I'm not mad at my beautylish lucky box at all, but I do think it's a little weird how like like how someone gets something that great and then like I didn't get anything that compares to that. 
So I feel like there should be a little fairness in that, but they, in their respect, they don't know that two people are getting these boxes. Is that the same? Yeah, together. well, and I mean, I think the thing is that, like, that's what a mystery box is. Sometimes yeah. you get, like, the really... I feel like we have not had a lucky bag where one of us has, like, one oh, out no. this big. No, that's huge. <laughs> I, like, do I want to cry right now? Like, this is so... Because I, like, have wanted to try Orbe hair products, and, like, but to get a whole collection and the package, like, the box of this... That's nice. ...is everything. Okay, well, um... This is great. <laughs> I, without going product by product and rating it, like, I'm very happy with my box. Like, this I could care less about, and the red lipstick I probably won't use. Everything else is something that I would use, and then there's things that I'm obviously more excited about. The Orbe and the Na Natasha Nona are probably what I'm the most excited about in mine. Um, what are, like, the things that you're most excited about in yours? This, and I'm ex actually excited about the hair scrunchie. Yeah. Um... And like the things are nice, like the Char Charlotte Tilbury, these, I'm excited to mess with this palette, but I will say looking at this, although the value might be worth it, I would not spend $150 for this group of products for my personal needs and what I use. I don't think it's worth it. It's, and I think part of that answer comes from seeing what she received, like for, for out of her box, the eyeliner, love, the hair products, I love, and then the Natasha Denona, like those three products, I would spend 150 on just for those three products. So, yeah. I don't know. I'm not like in love with my box if I'm being completely honest, but I, I do like yeah. what I got and I think there's really, really good name brands and really, really nice stuff. Yeah, I mean, my box like really beat yours and I like kind of feel bad. Don't. And here's the thing is like, she got her box delivered, I got my box delivered. Mm -hmm. I genuinely thought because my box was bigger, I thought it was like, oh, there's just gonna be like a makeup bag. I yeah. had no idea that it would be like that good. So I I'm curious, what are your thoughts on ours? Who do you, who's do you prefer? <laughs> uh, and what did you, also, what did you get yeah. in your Beauty Lush Lucky Bag? I have not looked at any videos. I know I'm posting mine a little bit later than some other people just because of the schedules for our filming, but I haven't looked at any of them and now I'm excited to go look at other people's yeah. to see like what they got, but like, oh my God, I kind of won the jackpot this year. <laughs> and I like, I don't remember ever getting something so exciting in a Beauty Lush mm -hmm. Lucky Bag, but just know if you're trying to order it next, like this, the 2024, mm -hmm. no, it'd be the 2025, 2025. bag mm -hmm. in December that like you might get a bag like, that's not as good. Like, it's a mystery completely. Yeah, you so, have no idea. Um, yeah, but anyway, those are our Beautylish XL Lucky Bags for 2024. Definitely let us know our, your thoughts down in the comments below. If you like this video, definitely make sure to give it a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out on future uploads. And we'll see you in our next video.